Cars Storybook Collection. Racing Days in Radiator Springs. One afternoon, the cars in Radiator Springs gathered eagerly at Flo's V8 Cafe. Lightning McQueen was meeting them there. He had some big news to share. Hey guys, Lightning said when he rolled up. Thanks for meeting me. Doc and I wanted to tell you about our plans for the town. We want to open up my racing headquarters here. That's right, Doc chimed in. He smiled. He was a racing legend and Lightning's new crew chief. There will be a real track and a large stadium to hold everyone who wants to come see a race, he explained. Mater showed the cars a picture of what the stadium would look like. Hmm, said Sally, the shiny blue sports car. This could be what puts Radiator Springs back on the map. That's the plan, Lightning exclaimed. It wasn't long before the track was ready. Lightning and Doc were excited. They decided to host a they decided to host a race of, to officially open the stadium. They sent invitations to racers from around the world. They wanted to op they wanted the opening race at Radiator Springs Stadium to be a big event. When the week of the race arrived, visitors flooded into town. The store owners in Radiator Springs were very happy to have customers again, but they weren't prepared for so many. A line of cars waiting for new tires stretched around the block at Casa de la Tires. Luigi and Guido had to work long after their normal closing time to help every car. Mamma mia, Luigi said. The cars, they just keep a coming. The line at Flo's V8 Cafe stretched all the way down the street. Her customers couldn't all fit into the parking lot, so she tried to bring cans of oil to them. But she couldn't get around all the traffic and ended up spilling oil on her hood. Meanwhile, Sheriff was having a hard time keeping the race cars in line. Otto had come all the way from Germany. He was used to driving fast everywhere he went, but Sheriff wanted him to follow the speed limit. When he gave Otto a speeding ticket, it didn't help. Otto just thought, I mean, Otto just thought Sheriff wanted his autograph. That night, Sally and Sarge had to set up tents for the visiting cars because her motel didn't have any more rooms. By the time they were finished, Sally was exhausted. I'm glad we have visitors again, but I didn't think there would be this much work, she told Lightning. The race car knew his friends were tired from a long day of taking care of so many customers. He suggested they take, the t they take some time to have fun. They decided to cruise through the town. The neon lights were shining. Seeing the town lit up and full of visitors made everyone happy. That's great. The next day, it was time for the Radiator Springs Tracks opening race. Mater, Sarge, Sally, Lizzie, and Flo gathered to watch from the, from the box seats. Down on the track, Lightning met his competitors. He knew it would be a tough race but he wanted to make his friends proud. And that, and they're off, Mater announced. The car sped into their first turn. Lightning McQueen is in third place, but don't worry, the tow truck continued. He'll win by the end. He's the best. Mater, Sally interrupted. You need to announce the positions of all the cars. 
But lightning's my best friend, Mater said to the mic Mater said into the microphone. And he's the best car in the race. Down on the track, Lightning smiled. He revved his engine, and soon he was even with Otto, who was in first place. On the last turn, Lightning pulled ahead, and Otto began to drop back. Lightning stuck out his tongue as he crossed the finish line. He wanted to make sure he's the winner. Mater cheered as he announced that his best friend had won. Thanks, everyone, Lightning said to the crowd and the visiting race cars. This was a great race, but it won't be the last here in Radiator Springs. The cars cheered. They couldn't wait until the next race. The, the end. Where would you like to build a racetrack? And what would you do on it? Let me know in the comments below. See you later. Bye.